Hello and welcome to our daily wrap on the eve of the Betfred Masters, which starts on Sunday at one o'clock. Some breaking news this afternoon. Judd Trump and Jack Lezowski have both tested positive for COVID-19. The players will be replaced by Joe Perry and Gary Wilson, respectively. Uh, Trump and Lezowski will go into isolation and, of course, got the thoughts of all of us and the support of World Snooker. All other players and officials have tested negative. So 16 players will battle out over eight days to win the Betfred Masters. Winning a trophy in 2015 was Sean Murphy, who says in his tough times, he hopes snooker can raise the spirits. You know, I've lost loved ones this year. I've lost some very, very close friends and family members. You know, Pete, you can't get to their funerals. Uh, you can't go and give them that embrace and speak to them before they pass. It's been a horrific year, I have to say. And I think really when you, you know, when you weigh all these factors up, when you throw all the pieces into the air and they all come down, I think I put myself on the side of, I think the show must go on. Because I think, I think sport, particularly in Great Britain and Ireland, it plays such a massive, massive role in the nation's mental health. You know, I found it so hard when the first lockdown hit in March last year, everything stopped. And you, you like, there's only so much Netflix you can watch. There's only so much East, there's so many EastEnders reruns you can tune into. Um, there's so many, there's only so many Chris Whitty slideshows we can all sit through. Next slide, please. You know, there's a, we can't do that forever. And I think live sport is a massive part of our culture here in Great Britain and Ireland, as I say. And I think that, you know, we have to do whatever we can to keep, to keep it going. And I must say that, you know, that the, the lengths that World Snooker Tour and Matchroom for their events, the lengths they've gone to, to put these events on, um, to jump through the hoops that government and local government and the DCMS and people like that have asked them to go through, is nothing short of remarkable. And you can watch that interview in full on our Facebook page right now. On our Facebook page at five o'clock on Sunday night, we've got an interview with the current champion, Stuart Bingham, who believes last year's win proved a few of the doubters wrong. A few, a few of the haters uh, about, but um, yeah, obviously a lot's gone on in between them, uh, in, them two wins, but uh, yeah, it's extra special to lift a second sort of triple crown event. Uh, as you say, it shuts a lot of people up, but it just sort of, I'm just sort of overjoyed with the career I've had so far. Part of the Betfred team over the next eight days will be the 1985 world champion, Dennis Taylor, but he also won the Masters in 1987. To get through that year and, and eventually to play Alex Higgins in the final was well, it was a, like a dream come true. And uh, in front of 2,700 people, it was incredible. And it looked like I'd, uh, I'd lost the match when I was 8-5 down. Uh, but I found out that uh, Alex's manager at the time had ordered a dozen bottles of champagne to celebrate Alex winning his first uh, tournament for a couple of years. Um, and when I found that out, I come back in again. <laughs> that was the spur that I needed. I mean... It, it really spurred me on and uh, I won the last four frames to, to pip Alex in a deciding frame, but a great, great uh, final to have been involved in. Uh, I mean, Alex, an amazing player. Uh, I've never heard that before. So you'd heard about the celebration being planned. So that well, got you a bit angry, did it? Well, yeah, nothing to do with Alex whatsoever. It was just uh, uh, my friend Trevor East, who was head of sport with ITV at the time, uh, he was there and he'd heard Alex's manager. It must have been somewhere around the press room. He was uh, getting the champagne ordered, uh, you know, to celebrate Alex. You, you never count your chickens at this game. But that when he told me that, it, it, it gave me a little boost, really. And I went back in and I played, uh, I played some terrific uh, snooker to, to get back to Old Square. I won three frames in a row to level at, uh, at eight each. And then... Uh, won the deciding frame, which was, um, you know, quite a comeback against Alex at that particular time to win the last four frames was, uh, you know, as I say, it's right up there with uh, 
my best performances of my whole career. Right, that's it. It should be eight days of top class action. Please stay safe. Why not stay in, watch snooker?